Hello all, welcome to SAP with RD YouTube channel. Today we are going to see purchase organization and its different types. So now we are going to see what is mean by purchase organization. Purchase organization means it's a department in our company who is taking care of purchasing related activities. Purchasing related activity means it includes uh, vendor vendor identification right then uh, discussion with vendors about uh, deciding terms conditions price related things right so there are different different activity uh, we need to perform under uh, purchasing department so the uh, the department who is taking care of this all activities that department or that entity or that organization unit we can call as a purchase organization right so in general sentence what you can say is purchase organization means it is a organization unit which is responsible to purchase material or services by negotiating terms conditions price with the supplier okay now we'll see purchase organization types we have a different different types okay for purchase organization plant specific or local purchase organization then cross plant purchase organization cross company code purchase organization standard purchase organization central purchase organization and reference purchase organization we will see one by one all these purchase organizations so first is plant specific or local purchase organization plant specific or local purchase organization means if any purchase organization is assigned to one plant or if any purchase organization is assigned to single plant only then that purchase organization is called as a plant specific so in this example this purchase organization porg1 it is assigned to plant a only right porg2 purchase it is also assigned to plant b only that's why we are calling this purchase organization as a plant specific because this purchase organizations are assigned to single single plant right these are not assigned to multiple plants that's why we are calling this plant organizations as a plant specific or local then next type is cross plant cross plant means uh, a purchase organization which is assigned to more than one plant just remember cross means a purchase organization is assigned to more than one plant or multiple plant in this okay in this diagram under abc group we have two companies company 1 company 2 company 1 has two plants plant a and plant c so plant a and plant b and this plant c and plant d these two plant belongs to the other company code company 2 then we have a two purchase organization cpo1 and cpo2 in this uh, in this uh, uh, diagram if you see carefully this cpo1 purchase organization is assigned to more than one plant right it is assigned to multiple plant plant a and plant b this cpo2 purchase organization also if you see this cpo2 purchase organization is also assigned to multiple plant plant c and plant d but the similarity is in these two uh, sides this plant belongs to same company code okay what i'm saying is here this purchase organization is assigned to multiple plant correct but those multiple plants are present under same company code on the right also, on the right side also if you see this cpo2 is assigned to multiple plants plant c and plant d but these two plants are under same company code so in this case okay in such a case we can call this purchase organization as a cross plant purchase organization cross plant purchase organization means a purchase organization which is assigned to multiple plant and those plants are under same company code then that purchase organization is called as a cross plant purchase organization then what is meant by cross company code cross company code means here also purchase organization is assigned to multiple plant but those plants 
belongs to different company code they are not present under same company code so in this case okay what happen is this ccpo is a purchase organization and it is assigned to plant b and plant c okay the ccpo is a purchase organization it is assigned to multiple plant plant b and plant c but these two plants are, are not under same company code see this plant b is assigned to company 1 and plant c sorry this plant b is assigned to company 1 plant c is assigned to company assigned to company 2 right so here what happened is the purchase organization is assigned to multiple plant but those plants are under different different company code that's why we are calling this purchase organization as a cross company code purchase organization then the next type is standard purchase organization standard purchase organization means what we do which person we call as a standard purchase organization uh, let's say uh, we have one plant plant a okay and plant a has a two purchase organization purchase organization 1 and purchase organization 2 purchase organization 1 is taking care of purchasing raw materials and services and purchase organization 2 is responsible for purchasing special item or special uh, they perform special purchasing process so what we do is what we do is after those multiple purchase organization we allocate or we designate one purchase organization as a standard purchase organization and we assign their uh, responsibility or we mention okay or we what we do uh, we ask that purchase organization to purchase a special type of materials only right so it means a purchase organization so a plant which is having multiple uh, suppose if any plant has a multiple purchase organization so out of those multiple purchase organization what we do is we allocate or we designate one purchase organization as a standard purchase organization who will take care of special procurement process for example pipeline procurement process consignment procurement process subcontracting and stock transfer order process okay and this one more scenario where uh, system uh, auto okay system create purchase order automatically during gr posting so that time also when we do gr posting okay for, so that time system has to determine price from somewhere right to uh, post accounting entry so for that purpose what we do is what we do is for that material vendor combination we maintain info record with the standard purchase organization right it is a prerequisite you can you can say it is a prerequisite for auto creation okay if you want to create po automatically in a back end at the time of gr posting so for that purpose we we must have info record to be created for the material vendor commission with standard purchase organization if you create info record with other types of purchase organization then it will not determine price okay during gr posting and it will throw error please enter please enter standard uh, please enter purchase organization then the next type is central purchase organization central purchase organization this type of purchase organization comes in picture where uh, company ha- wants to purchase material in huge quantity or in bulk quantity from the supplier the the reason for bulk or mass quantity purchasing is uh, because uh, that company has a multi uh, maybe that company have multiple plants and for all those plants okay uh, they require same material right so instead of purchasing material for each plant separately what generally company does is okay they uh, they uh, they do mass quantity purchasing or huge quantity per- purchasing with the sub- uh, from supplier okay uh, with this uh, bulk quantity purchasing okay what happen we can get better price from the supplier right because uh, if you are purchasing material in huge quantity then then absolutely okay uh, supplier can provide us discount right so we, uh, so here uh, the fund is Uh, this central position okay it is taking care of procurement uh, for all all the subsidiaries okay which are present within that enterprise or within that company generally this central position is assigned to all plants of the company code and it does purchasing for all those plant then 
the next type is reference purchase organization reference purchase organization means actually in our configuration setting there is one configuration setting uh, sap has provided where we assign per our purchase organization to reference purchase organization suppose uh, there is a purchase organization purchase organization a okay and there is one more purchase organization purchase organization 2 okay and that purchase organization 2 what they did is okay, they have created one contract with the supplier okay and, and in that contract they have maintained all the condition private details and what we want to do is okay we want to create purchase or uh, purchase order with the purchase version 1 and we want to refer all terms and conditions from that contract which is created by second purchase version so in that case what what we are going to do is we are going to refer contract okay which is created by other purchase organization right so this type of assignment or this type of uh, configuration okay or this type of purchase is called as a reference purchase organization so this reference purchase organization is not assigned to any company code just keep in mind okay uh, what we do is okay the contracts or agreement created by uh, this reference purchase organization uh, this agreement generally we refer okay uh, this agreement we miss this agreement that is referred by local purchase organization to create purchase orders then the two more point okay, we need to keep in mind is sometimes interviewer can ask uh, this question can we assign a single plant to multiple purchase organization then your answer will be yes yes we can assign plants to single uh, we can assign a purchase organization to multiple plants then second question uh, he will ask can we assign purchase organization same purchase organization to multiple company code then your answer will be no ok uh, we can assign purchase organization to a single company code at, to only one company code we cannot assign one purchase organization to multiple company code that's why cross company code uh, this cross company code concept is not possible at company code level it is only possible or it is only present at plant level only and if Suppose if we assign any purchase organization at company code level only, okay. If we assign any purchase organization at company code level only, then with that uh, purchase organization company code, we can create contract or agreement only, okay. Because we have not assigned uh, that purchase organization to any of the plant, right? And we create purchase order at plant level. So if you want to create purchase order for that purchase organization, then you must. Uh, assign that purchase organization to plant also okay so this is about purchase organization and its types thank you so much for your time